Hi friends! So we have been talking a lot about cars, you guys have been playing with cars and showing a lot of interest in cars lately. So today I'm going to get give each of you a car to look at. Can you guys tell me what, what parts do you see on the car? Hmm, we can see a hood, the hood of the car. What else do you see? We can see the roof of the car. Very good. And let's see, what do we see on this car? We can see the windows. We see the wind, the front windshield and the windows on the side. Today, we're gonna focus on the bottom part. What are these called? The wheels. The wheels are really important. They need to work together to help the car move. And on the wheels, there are tires. On a real car, there is rubber tires with tread. On these, you can see the little tread on the tires. Do you see that? Okay, we are going to watch the tread. The tread is important. When you, when the car gets muddy and you drive, it makes tracks on the road. And tires are also important, or the tread is also important because if we need it so our car doesn't slip all over the road. But today we're gonna make tire tracks on our paper. So we're gonna need some mud. We're gonna use some brown paint for the mud today. And we're gonna put it on our plate. And then we're gonna take our car and we're gonna drive into it, okay? Let's see you guys drive into it. All right, let me show you. You go like this. You wanna watch, go until you get the tires all muddy. Do you see how muddy the tires are? And next, you're gonna take it and you're gonna drive it on your paper. What do you think is gonna happen when we drive our tires on the paper? We'll have to see. Should we see what happens? All right, let's see, ready? <gasps> what happened? Yep, it made tracks. And you can see how the tread made a pattern with the tires. So I want you guys to keep making as many tracks as you can on your paper. Put them whatever way you want. You have to make sure you keep getting more mud on. So you gotta use your, your muddy plate and then drive it on. And you do it, you can keep going and going whatever directions you want, go crazy. And if you drive it, you can see it kind of runs out of mud because it all gets put on the paper. And if you had a car at your house or down the road and it was muddy, we would only have a little track until all the mud was gone off the tire, just like on your paper. You can keep going. Hmm, maybe we wanna switch cars with a friend and see if we can get some different tracks or different, a different car's tires. Let's try this one. We gotta get this one really muddy. Drive it in our mud, mud pile, and then we, Take it over here and we go Choop. more tire tracks on our paper. You can keep doing that as long as you want. I think we filled my paper pretty good. So what did we talk about today? We focused on how cars have lots of parts, right? But we focus on what part? The tires, yeah. And then that the top, that the wheels have tires on them. And the tires are rubber with tread. 
and the tread is what keeps us from slipping around and makes our tracks when it's muddy. When you're not at school, you could do this activity when you check out your own toy car from school and you could find some mud and roll it in the mud and then go to a sidewalk. And on the sidewalk, you could roll your car tires down with the mud on it and see what happens then. You can see if it's different or the same as what we did today. Now, I want you to guys to go put your cars in the sink so we can wash them. And your hands might be a little muddy, so we should go wash our hands. And then you can go pick out your next activity. Bye, guys.